Things we've forgotten over the years. Remember, when attaching a power supply to a classic AT motherboard, black always touches black. Is it just me, or does anyone else remember when you had to make your own ventilation holes in your computer cases for overclocking? Now that's old school. Okay, we'll attach two hard drives to this build. Um, primary, secondary, master, slave, slave uh, jumper settings. All right, C and D drive. Got it. Easy enough. <laughs> Things we've forgotten about really old computers. They don't come with anything. No USB, no mouse, no sound, no floppy, no hard drive, just an old school keyboard port. Plain Jane. Let's talk about retro computing and power supplies. Now, sometimes you had an old AT power supply that still worked and it came with these, and it had one of these. It had a switch already built in. How convenient. But you can't always get that. More often than not, you're stuck using a modern ATX power supply like this with no switch, and then you have to use one of these in order to enable these, and in order to even turn it on, you had to source out a whole separate one of these. And that's just to get power to your system. That doesn't even include the motherboard and the chip in building it. Good old days. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, I'm just trying to get this sound card in the case. I hate these old cases. Ow! Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Oh, I hate these old cases. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm going to need a band-aid.